College football players prepare for the NFL at specialized training facilities. From the moment they declare for the draft, a countdown begins towards the combine, the ultimate testing session. I'm not nervous. I'm very anxious, though. I talked to my dad. My dad always said, whatever, whatever happens, you, you just got to make the best of it. We're pushing for more, like my stepdad told me yesterday. Um, we ain't settled until you get the gold jacket. That's when you can settle down. You know, it's time to accomplish my dream. You know, I'm the type of guy, when I want something, I'm going to make sure I get it. To get what they want, players push themselves more than ever. They are strong, but want to be stronger. They are fast, but can get faster. They are fit, but become fitter. Greedy Williams out here at Mama Sports Academy. Just having fun with the guys. You know, shout out to Internet, NFL Network. You know, want to do a documentary on me. Let's get it. out from the combine. You know, I'm anxious, I'm ready, excited. Uh, I got numbers in my mind that I need to hit. We're doing a uh, speed session in the morning, which we do in college, but we wouldn't turn around and lift weights. We'll, we'll run in the morning and lift weights in the afternoon. But here, we're running in the morning, lifting weights right out there. My biggest thing was the food. The work wasn't a problem, so I worked really hard, but I wasn't eating the right things. And now I'm on track and uh, I'm looking more lean than ever. I'm supposed to eat three times a day, right? You eat two more. I need to eat five times a day. God, <laughs> It's a work. It's work. Eating is not a like pleasure it. anymore. This is mine right here, greedy. So this is the lunch right here. This one is applewood grilled pork with garden carrots. <laughs> garden carrots, bro, it be different stuff. Like, I've never seen it before. <laughs> yeah, and like Tuesday, Tuesday in the back, so. My um, breakfast. Yeah, that's how we eat. Got to gain weight, Greedy. It's a lot of protein. It is a lot of protein. You need. You have a lot of gains you need to do. Woo! Can we not spill any? Don't spill any. I spilled it. Hey, look at your feet. <laughs> like here, it's like first class. Like first class level all the way for us. Like the people, the food, the training. The recovery, like all of it's like first class. Just a little down the right, that's okay. Still above that range of an injury risk, we're still above 48, so. Left's looking good. Nice work. Some people take for granted like the important mental parts of the game. Everybody thinks it's just physical. Well, when you're a corner trying to read the um, combination, like, that's mental. You're using your brain to do that, so it's just like, Things like that can get your game at a, at a fast level. The process is designed to sort of put you under stress, to see how you're going to react with the interviews, with the skill position drills, 40-yard dash, all of that. And the thing is, is I mean, you guys know football. I put you on the football field, you good, right? That's home for you, yeah. right? That's home, right? Now you're in an unfamiliar environment. You got to be like, hey, throw anything at me. I'm good with it, you know, because that's what the NFL is going to be like. That's what professional sports is like. You just never know what's going to happen. Football is a game of speed. Michael Johnson is a four-time Olympic champion and one of the fastest sprinters ever. His knowledge is the ultimate competitive advantage. The combine is more akin to Olympic sprinting than it is to NFL football. You're taking guys who are used to getting, quite frankly, you know, a few do-overs. I blew that play, and great athletes are able to come back from that, you know, and make the adjustment. You don't have that at the combine. There are no adjustments. You get two, two reps. That's it. And if you blow those two, there's no do-overs. You're going to live with that for the rest of your career. An athlete like, like Rashawn, really just trying to get him to understand the fundamentals, because, yes, he's a fantastic athlete, but we can't have you go to combine and just rely on your athleticism. It's all about technique and fundamentals combined with great athleticism. Rashawn must get faster. 
He drops 10 pounds in preparation for the 40-yard dash. It's a good setup. It's a really good setup. Only thing I'm a little concerned about is like when you come out, so you throw this, and you got a lot right here, right? There's a lot of mass, so you throw that mass up, it, it's gonna bring you back a little bit, so the momentum go is going out. back. Yeah, you gotta go out. Exactly, exactly. We're working on our stride. Techniques, like with mine, I gotta make sure I keep my head down a little bit so I'm looking out in front of me instead of looking up, because that takes away from my speed, and always gotta have big arm action. That's better. That's better. Greedy Williams plays cornerback, a position where demands on speed are critical. Greedy, you still running? <laughs> they want to see a DB running like a 4-4 at least. I'm ready to go out there and perform and show them, you know, I'm one of those top guys that y'all name. What's the laser been? Uh, my last my last time was a four five four. Sorry, Sean. Yep. <clears throat> but uh, that was on heavy legs too. So he was like, "Don't even trip about it." Dude, you know four five four is running fast on laser, right? <laughs> Guys will say they don't think about it, but I have goals. I have forty goals. I'm trying not to look ahead so far because there's still work to be done. With your strength, you're capable of doing something like that. In the 40-yard dash, fractions of a second can mean millions on draft day. You need to be ready to go the second that you step up there. You want a $100,000 signing bonus or you want some millions? All right, you don't get no second chances. There will be no second chances at the Combine, where all 32 NFL teams will determine who they want to select on draft day. Last little minute preparation. Just think about 40 tomorrow, and this is what we dreamed of right here, this moment right here, growing up. And tomorrow we get the opportunity. Tomorrow I'm just gonna do my absolute best and give it all I got. I've been waiting for this. I've been preparing for this since I was 10 years old. Now I get the opportunity to do it. It's exciting, I'm anxious, um, I'm not nervous at all. I'm well prepared, that's how I feel. And when I step inside Google's Oil Stadium, I'm just be thinking about my mom, my sister, my two nephews. Just think about, you know, who you're doing it for. Think about the people, you know, who depending on you, and that'll definitely, like, motivate you, you know, and get you fired up. Time to punch the clock. One hundred plus young men are invited to the NFL Combine. This is the biggest job interview of their lives. Poor performance will cost them money they may never make back. Confidence is key. You look like you think you're the best corner in the draft right now. Yeah. You feel that way? No doubt. Fam, don't lie. I am the best. I keep reading that your teammate is the top receiver in the draft. I'm the best receiver in the draft, by far. I'm versatile, I can play inside and outside. I run great routes, I have strong hands, I'm a man after the catch. I'm the best player in this draft, offensively and defensively, period. You know, I want to be a pro bowler. I want to be a Hall of Famer. I want to be a Super Bowl champion. Greedy Williams, I let you. I would not be benching. I decided to maximize my preparation to pro day. Hey, Jay Brown, Mississippi. Hey, go Brown. Yeah. He's strong, strong. Yeah. That's really easy. Just like this. Come on. Come on. That's really easy. AJ Brown bench presses 225 pounds 19 times. A lot for a receiver. I'm like right here, left locked out, right? Just went, went go to him. <laughs> Rashawn Gary, Michigan. There you go. All the way up. That's right, that's right. Sturdy. You know, I got 26, so I know I still got work to do, but I still got no D line group. This is Gary at 277 pounds moving like that. That's not normal. Yeah. 
Rashawn Gary is impressive in the individual drills. He knows the stakes. Ten even. And every inch counts. Jumped a 10-4, fell back, and I came back and jumped a 10. It's a PR both ways, but I'd rather take the 10. Hey, he's saying he's ready to show you how to run the routes. We do run these routes. It's a good I actually wanted to talk a little smack to uh, Steve Smith. I just told him uh, he wanted to see how good I run routes, and I told him, get your pen out and uh, take notes. I mean, you're a wide runner, ain't you? I'm finna show you. OK, I'll be watching. Oh, yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah. How you doing? What's AJ your favorite right? uh, Curl? I don't know who you are. What's your curl? curl? Oh, yeah. Oh, Deep curl shallow. It don't matter. OK. Uh, my, I love comeback. Comeback? 18 yards. I want to press. Oh, yeah. Don't matter. What you, you speed releasing or what? Huh? What you doing in line? You speed I, releasing or whatever? Uh, so I sometimes I take a, I can take a comeback and burst it. Yeah. I get out wide. Yeah. I was just taking in everything, and they was talking about routes and what to do after the catch, and I try to soak all that in from a vet. Here's A.J. Brown now. A.J. Brown shows off his prodigious pass catching talent. The make or break event of the combine is still to come. The NFL is a league of speed, and the 40-yard dash is how that speed is judged. Tenths of a second can equal millions of dollars on draft day. Coming in, you know, 277, you know, basically 280, and um, running with guys that's 250, you know, they like to see that. So, you know, my official time was a uh, 458. Got that 45. Shocked myself. Um, I never like test for the 40 while I was training it, so definitely shocked myself. My mom, um, she had FaceTime and she was just, you know, proud. Tears of joy. Hey, yeah, y'all got it, bro. AJ Brown, wide out four. Four, five, seven. I know the first time that he ran, I was like, come on, Jay, that ain't you. I can see. AJ Brown will miss his second run at it. Oh, better yeah. now. Me getting that 449 is huge, man. <laughs> I work so hard for this. I wake up in the morning, I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to make so many sacrifices for it. I got to call my dad. Uh, he probably blowing my phone up right now. What's up? What's up? <laughs> so he was excited. I was jumping out the couch, man. I think I throw popcorn everywhere. Yo, yo. We went to Wendy's. Four for four. <laughs> he said, four for four. I told you I was going to get it. Let's go. Thank you. Love you. Love y'all. You good? Yeah. Cramped up. Cramped up a little bit? Yeah, all right. <laughs> My second 40. Okay. Well, you're putting it down, man. That's why. Yeah. Good job out there. Appreciate it. You know, definitely ready to get back home, you know, just to hug on my family, you know, just thank you for supporting me. For the first time in their athletic careers, players declaring for the NFL draft are free to be paid and profit for their time. <laughs> Let's take a look at this shit. Yes, sir. Yeah. Worry about what this is. Grown folk being no real. But you gotta read that on the camera. Worry about you over there. <laughs> you mind your business, grown folk. Yes, <laughs> sir. We can put that to use. <laughs> Crazy thing is, I started dreaming when I was in college. When I got to college, so playing NFL ball. You know, uh, once I once I really established myself in college, I was like. I could do this in the league. The issue in college football is there's just it's not the same passing game in college football as there's in the NFL, period. The college passing game is, is very different from the professional passing game. So in a lot of cases in college, you're projecting a guy from whatever his college scheme is into a totally different scheme. And you know, that's imperfect. This is another year where there's a lot of big receivers, 6'4", 225", 230, whatever they are. 
Better find somebody to cover those guys, too. Get on the ball. DBU is saying goodbye to another graduate. Proud of you, Papa Rudy. Appreciate it, Coach. He will soon join six-year veteran Tyron Matthew in the NFL. You did it. You set the foundation. Man, you brought that swag. Everything you did was natural. You know, it's a blessing, man, to, to come back here and to see you grow, to see you prosper, you know what I'm saying, watch you. Man, I play with Pat P, you know what I'm saying? So to see you play, it's like I, I see a lot of Pat P in you, you know what I mean? So got the size, got the ability, got the confidence, and I think the NFL ready for you, bro. Yeah. You know, you could be a Pro Bowl cornerback from day one. I remember I went to the NFL. Everybody was telling me they was like, game is so fast, the speed of play. Throwing over the middle, and it's picked off, Tyron Matthew. And I'm like, all right, cool. But like, we come from LSU. We play against the best of the best. Don't get overwhelmed with this, bro. You know, it, it's football. It's the same game we've been playing since we was five years old. Just understand that you're the next one up. And it's kids in that locker room that look up to you. Oh, good with y'all. <laughs> I used to have to carry his birth certificate in my pocket because nobody believed how old you were. First time I saw him, I thought he was dropping his son off. Yeah. You know, I thought he was dropping the kid off. I'm like, oh, yeah. all right. He is the kid. We seen all of this, though. We knew it was coming. They seen it before I was able to see it. Right. We knew it was coming. Mature beyond his years, Rashawn Gary's future as a first-round pick seemed preordained. As an eighth grader in Paramus, New Jersey, Rashawn was a man among boys dominating high schoolers. You introduced the Rutgers big man camp to us. Absolutely. I remember getting a call from his mom and said, yo, Rod. She said, oh, Rod got an offer from Rutgers. I'm like, what? It's an eighth grade. Where do you want to go to school at? Well, I know my mom, she wants me to stay close to home, so probably Rutgers. OK, good. Are you, right? Huh? Yeah. Without all three of these men right here, I don't know what I would be, because all three of them started my football journey right here. That's what's up. This is good, man. We thank you for coming by. Hey, man. we're proud of you, man. No, I appreciate it's it. Absolutely. Yeah. A week before the draft, a receiver hoping to be the first wideout chosen meets the all-time leading receiver, Jerry Rice. I will definitely train with Jerry Rice any day. He grew up like 15 minutes away from where I grew up. My mom went to school with him. I don't know how true that story is, but I was told that and I always ran with it because it's Jerry Rice. Though, you know? <laughs> Both hail from the same hometown, Starkville, Mississippi. Yo, Jerry. Jerry, this is my dad. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, what's going on? My pleasure, man. Welcome. Welcome to the club, it's baby. A, We're looking, it's a blessing. It's going to be a great run, man. Great run. They always talk about this hill. <laughs> this is, you know, the hill and where everything started for me. It's very challenging, and it's going to test you. You know, you got to be able to uh, endure this. Yeah, you kind of scared me. Okay, so, <laughs> so, so many guys came through this because they heard about it. They wanted to give it a try. Try it for one time. Then it was up to them if they wanted to come back. Hold on, I looked up a video last night, saw you take off running fastest. <laughs> come on, so. All right, here we go. <laughs> Set, all right, go. So it's all about just range and just pushing off. The hill is everything. It's gonna make you or break you. It's about two and a half miles all the way up to the top. It's gonna really help you in the fourth quarter when you're tired to be able to finish the way you're supposed to finish. You got a minute left in the ball game. If you're tired, either you're gonna quit or somehow you're gonna dig down deep and make that play to win the football game. Aaron Montana throwing for the end zone. Right late, he got it! Touchdown, 49ers! If you go back and you track my, my entire career, I was always my best doing big games because that's the way I prepare. Gary Rice is the touchdown scorer of the century. We're gonna try to pick this speed up just a little bit. Let's get the knees up, work those arms. There you go. Good job. Okay, you take it now, go. All the way. I can go a little while. Young legs, boy. Highway 101 belongs to Jerry Rice. Next exit, Hall of Fame. Whenever I challenge this hill, I make it a purpose not to quit. 
Great job, man. That step back there, boy. <laughs> Whoa! Get you breathing, baby. <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It was all about the hill. Like I said, man. Oh, you know what, man? I'll be right back. I brought something from you. Stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like this something you need to add on your list right here, though. Because yeah, this, yeah, this hill. You know what I told you? That's what it's about right yes, there. Sir. <laughs> That's what it's about. Yes, sir. Put them on. Don't, don't mind if I do. <laughs> my Pro Football Hall of Famer, oh, Super Bowl 23, 24, and that's 29. Now, give me my rings back. <laughs> Rice's Hill is symbolic of the journey all these hopeful draft prospects have traveled. Rashawn Gary, Greedy Williams, and A.J. Brown will be selected in the draft. Good thing. question of when looms large. I'm just excited to have the opportunity to be a part of an organization that wants me for me and pushing me to be great. Can't wait to hear my name get called. It's going to be a proud moment for me and my family. We're days away, so it's kind of just nerve-wracking. I'm kind of ready for it to be over with, honestly. Everybody is with you. Whatever my name is called, all their name called behind me. It's a great feeling to be able to live your dream. My destination's Nashville. Today is the day. Today is the day. How you feeling? I'm excited. I'm anxious. Stay in the moment family, friends, and we're going to sit back and have a good time, man. Whoever well, doesn't take you number one, that's fine, that's cool, that's their choice and their decision. But they're going to have to see you at some point, and that's what football's all about. Showtime. How's it going, man? Drop here, baby. Only a couple hours away, and that's where I'm at, Nashville, Tennessee. Getting closer, you know, it ain't hit me yet, but I feel like it's finna hit me in a few more hours whenever, you know, I get that red carpet. Almost all 32 teams have called, you know, and made sure, like, they got the correct number on draft day. That's a lot of drip, bro. I don't think I'm gonna be ready for this. Let's get it, man. We here, huh? It's up. Ain't no looking back. Yeah, then let's go, then let's go, then let's go. It's draft time. Say, I'm about to get drafted. Say, daddy about to get drafted. Hey, hey, hey. It's showtime. Greedy Williams, fine LSU quarterback. Look at fly tonight on the red carpet. Look at all those fans. They are out, ready for the NFL draft. All right here, Greedy. Greedy, right here, please. Greedy. Thank you. Must be fun. So far, is it what you expected? Uh, yeah, it's a lot. Uh, I love it. You know, I'm soaking it all in. I know I got a lot of pictures and stuff, but just out here on the red carpet living it up. Hey, Greedy. On drop day with it. On drop day. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. We working still. We still working. We ain't gonna bring no two suits. We ain't going no second day. That's why I canceled one of my rooms. Yeah, I ain't got but one night. I'm gonna sleep in the car. You did what you supposed to did, man. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Proud of you. Y'all started seven minutes? Hey, I ain't got but, I ain't, that's all I got, baby. I ain't got no more. Which one? That's all we, we'll do it now. We'll do it <laughs> now, baby. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Y'all started six minutes? Yeah, I started in six minutes. We really was dreaming of this nah. 10 years ago. Like, Dad, I want to do this. Been talking about this. Like, right? yeah. It's crazy, right? Been talking about this. I woke up almost crying. The 2019 NFL Draft is now officially open. Yo, the pick is in. It's about to set the drive right now, about to set the tone. The Arizona Cardinals select Tyler Murray. Oh, 
what's going on, boy? With the 10th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Devin Bush. They need an edge rusher. They need to get some pressure. A great offense is an extremely aggressive defense. So we'll see, but I believe they could go defensively. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, Rashawn Gary, former Michigan Wolverine, now currently a Green Bay Packer. Man, it's good to be that, man. It's good to be picked and, uh, you know, go to an organization of greatness, man. And, you know, I just can't wait to put in the work. Go, Pack, go, and I'll see y'all soon. Stand up and stretch. the cornerbacks that went before Greedy, those guys had a little bit more dog in them. But this guy can cover. This guy gets in your face. Browns are about to make their first choice. Greedy, Mr. Dorsey, General Manager, Cleveland Browns, how you doing? Doing great. Man, uh, I know it's been a long wait for you, two days there, but uh, we look forward to you. I think you're, uh, you're an unbelievable talent. I can't wait to get you up here 
and uh, meet you. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Congratulations. We're getting ready to turn this tag in. The Cleveland Browns select Greedy Williams. It's up from here, baby. It's up from here. Cleveland didn't have a pick until 49, moved up to 46 and got Williams. All right. <laughs> Greedy. Yes, sir. So the Titans are now on the clock. What do you think they're going to do? Get somebody that can help out your young quarterback here. Hello. AJ. This is John Robinson with the Tennessee Titans. You remember me? Yes, sir. We're about to make you a Tennessee Titan, buddy. That sounds great to me. AJ. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. How are you? I'm good. No, you're not good anymore. I'm great. You're doing great. <laughs> if you say good, when you get here, you, you ain't good anymore. Yes, sir. I'm trying to be great. <laughs> I know you are. Just remember, get open and catch the ball. Oh, OK. AJ. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll see you here in a couple weeks, and um, you're ready to ride. Congratulations, buddy. Proud for you. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Patience. Patience. Look, you so like it. Proud of you, Thank you. Thank you. With the 51st pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select. Strong, I did long. My game is with the first.